Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing DMC4 on Dante Must Die difficulty. This is Mission 18, the Destroyer. Uh, here we're dealing with the Savior. And up on this platform, he's going to toss the meteors that will give you ammunition for your Devil Trigger. So you want to fill that up first of all, and then jump onto this. And uh, the Savior will destroy these Bianco Angelos for you if you just give him a chance. Uh, you might want to alternate between the Royal Guard to deflect these, uh, not these, but the other meteors that he does. So uh, You have a choice here. You can either hit the two jewels on its head or hit the jewel, or excuse me, not, um, the two jewels on its arm and or, and or the jewel on its head. The reason I like to hit the jewel on its head is because it's harder to hit it normally and you can go on his arms very easily at any time. So what happens is if you ever want to completely subdue him, if you're looking for jewels that you might not have, uh, hit off him. Because that's all you have to do. All we're doing is hitting all the jewels off him and then getting a checkpoint. And then we're going to hit the final jewel on his uh, chest. So, um, there we go. I'm targeting that. And it's going to give me a... I'm cutting out all these cutscenes too. So, once, this, once I get the head jewel taken away, we get a cutscene and then it's back to this part. And if you hit him on his body with his um, with your sword and hit his hand, after enough time, he'll completely be subdued, and you could go um, all around his body and hit him. But for now, I'm just focusing. I'm just going onto the different areas and focusing on um, everything here. The laser beam will subdue him. Uh, but what happened in that instance was uh, he smashed the platform before he was able to get subdued. Um, what else to say? It's it's one of those things where it's like, what am I supposed to do when I first do this? But if you uh, do it enough times, you realize what you're supposed to be doing here. It's just targeting the jewels. Um, it takes a long time to hit them with the gun, so what you need to do is uh, hit them with the sword as much as possible. So here he is. His hand is subdued. His or excuse me, his left arm is subdued. So we've got to go up there and uh, get on it. Sometimes, even if you're on an arm with destroyed jewels, see how I'm aiming at the other jewel over there? It, it's just kind of a puzzle that you have to figure out. And if you have to use items, go for it. You know, you really don't want to waste too many before that checkpoint. But if you need health, just use a Devil Trigger to give yourself some health. But just remember to have some on because it will give more power to your bullets and to your sword. So once you've gone, once you've destroyed enough things on the right, you're going to want to destroy the things on the left, and also you're going to want to hit the jewel on his back, which is very hard to, to do um, without just subduing him entirely. And I'll show you exactly how to do that once uh, he does these. Okay, so what I did was uh, I just double triggered and that was enough to, t to take him down. So now he's completely incapacitated, and all we need to do and um, by the way this jewel here I didn't finish it off and it was the last jewel I needed so uh, just remember to finish all those jewels off I just assumed it was finished but it wasn't it had a little more uh, uh, hit points on it uh, don't worry about those grabbers they're not gonna get you hopefully they don't I, I don't know what they do honestly they probably I, I don't know I don't wanna know but unfortunately you're always trying to uh, hit the jewels and having lackeys to deal with. It's really annoying. But if you keep just going on these, you'll, you'll eventually find what you need. See, I'm going to jump down over here. It's going to take me to this one, which I needed, and we have a lackey spawn. And you see, you can't do anything in this game without being interrupted. But there was a check, uh, a little cutscene where he got out of his stupor. And now we're going to... Um, remember, on this platform up here, he's going to spawn uh, those rockets for us to hit. Now, these meteors that he do does, you can evade them, you can get the iframes out of the jump, or you can uh, hit, hit them with the Royal Guard, do a Royal Block on those. Here he's incapacitated again, and I'm going over here since I didn't go over this way last time. I just you know deal with these things what I'm doing is the B attack with the sword master and 
and then we're going to be using the distortion on the, uh, the final jewel to finish them off. It is very nice that they give you a checkpoint. So what I'm trying to do now is figure out where is the last jewel that I needed. It was just that one that I mentioned that I hadn't gotten yet and it's right up here. So just continually click the left the left stick in to, to target different things and see what you need to target. And then once we take this thing down, we're gonna get this phase, which marks the beginning of a checkpoint. So every time you die, you'll start on this and you'll have to run over here to the right and the battle will commence thusly. And also remember that you don't have to like jump onto these blue uh, these blue whatever they are on the floor. All you need to do is walk on them because sometimes if you're running around and trying to jump on them and missing the jump, you might get hit by stuff that's going on. So just just walk over and it'll launch you up into the air. But the main thing we're looking for this guy to do is just um, go on, go beneath the platform and then rise up so that we can have ample time to do the distortion. Or another op alternative is to just hit him and then he'll be subdued. So now he's going to go down, watch him go down, and then do your royal guard on the first jewel up here. Even though it's damaged, you can uh, hit him. And then I messed up here because, you know, you just get, there, there, there's such a little time of space where you can hit him that one kind of chokes sometimes under the pressure of it all. But what you would do there as he's rising, just do the do devil trigger distortion once and then uh, you deactivate it once your, your your uppercut is finished and then when the other jewel is coming, when his chest jewel is uh, exposed you know enough so that all your hits will impact him uh, do the real impact and then you'll deal the most damage off him but um, right there I was I think I, I did some, I, I think the devil trigger explosion caused him to be in this stupor here so this is just excellent free damage you can get So he's almost going to be dead pretty soon. I think I applied some Devil Trigger into my gauge right there. And now whenever he does this, it is instant death. Sometimes, I think if you have all two bars maxed out with life, I don't think, I think you can survive. In fact, I have survived one, so I do know that you can. So we're just going to wait till he drops down again. And uh, obviously the handgun, Ebony and Ivory are the best here. He also does a spinning attack where you need to just jump over at one time or do a royal block. This is the spinning move I mentioned. Or you can just completely you know, bypass it by jumping off the platform. So at this point, he usually likes to do this. So prepare your, your uppercut. There's the uppercut first one. And then that was enough to put him in this stupor, and we're going to finish him off over here. So a fairly easy boss, and we'll be moving into the second to last chapter. We'll be back with Nero. Take care. Thanks for watching.